friends. <laughs> it's it's your friends from Common Sense Education. Remember us? It's Tanner and Chrissy. And we are here. And that is the sound of my text messages. <laughs> but just ignore that. You know what? It's an alert. It's an alert for you to subscribe and share these videos with your friends. But today, what's important is that we are here, as we are every Tuesday, to tell you about tools that might be helpful for your classroom. And if you want any other of our myriad resources, come to commonsense.org slash education to get those resources. But today, I understand that Tanner has 99 problems, but math ain't one. Is that right, Tanner? Yes, let's take a look at 99math.com. Yes. Uh, this is a free site that is in the vein of a Kahoot, a Quizlet, a Quizzes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, quiz game format, but focus specifically on math practice. We rated this three stars. We applied the grades of K through eight to this. It does cover K through 12 reportedly, but we really felt that it was best in that target of K through eight. And let's take a look. This is a little hard one to demo because the live games require at least three participants um, to kind of get up and going. So what we'll have to do is, is test out the demo and I can kind of show you some of the screenshots we took of it in action to give you a more in-depth look. But this is one of those tools that we weren't blown away by in terms of its customizability or its innovation like a, um, a Quizlet or a Quizzes or even a Kahoot. Um, but it is, if you're a math teacher, I have a feeling this might solve some problems for you. So the, the first and coolest thing is that they have a whole set of pre-baked content that you can just pull from and use. Um, so you can browse all of the skills here by grade level, and then you can just take one of them and, and just play a game. It's, it's really built for easy, quick assigning of quiz games. Um, and here's an example of what one of those looks like in action. So I can start their demo here. And you can see here's what the teachers see. This is very familiar for anyone who's used um, a Kahoot. And then this is what the students see over here. And they can use any device. And just enter their code and join the game. You'll notice teachers don't have much to do, like in terms of tweaking the games. The games are kind of just pre-baked and you just sign them out. Um, so you can, you just share the game, start the practice once students join. And then students get this little calculator here they can use to solve the problems. Um, you'll notice though, like if I enter a wrong answer here, you, they don't get any feedback. And it's really just focused on speed, um, essentially, you know, students are just meant to as quickly as possible plow through the answers. Um, the nice thing is at the end, um, teachers and the class, you know, if you're projecting this up front in, in front of the class, but I believe this screen also goes to students. You get to see kind of where everyone ranked and how everyone performed and they give out little awards for accuracy or you know, people who have done better. Um, students also, it doesn't show you in the demo, but if you look in our screenshots, student get, students get some really detailed um, feedback about their performance. They can dig into, they can see the answers they got incorrect. Um, and this could be a really nice way of students, you know, you could, you could imagine teachers encouraging a student to kind of take down what they got wrong and, and maybe focus on some of those areas for improvement. Um, teachers also get some nice 
summary slides and examples that they can see kind of over time progress. Um, I think if you look, one of these I had done, you can see here, all those reports will get saved. So here's, you know, you can kind of track as you go in a sign out work. You'll be able to see ones that you've, um, games that you've run and you can kind of dig into how things went. Like they have this nice um, student by student kind of overall assessment of how long it took. There is a focus on speed throughout, which I find a little curious. They even have this little color coded um, tasks per minute. I don't know if that's a great metric to be really encouraging people to focus on. Um, it's, it's that math facts fluency idea, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, to kind of like how quickly, you know, are students recalling the facts and inputting the right answer? That is definitely the focus here. It's all, I mean, this is clearly like the focus is on competition. Like it is, and there's really no way of getting away from that. There's, as you saw in the demo, when you assign out a game, there is really not much customizability that you can do. You just, it's, it's built not only for assessing student speed, but speed of assigning. You just assign it out. Students go through it. You get some great data back. Students get great data back. And then one thing you can do, and I don't know that we have a screenshot of this, but it, it invites you at the end um, from the teacher perspective, um, just after you get the, the feedback on how your class did, it asks you if you want to assign homework for students so that they can then get back into some of these practice sets and complete them at their own pace after you go through a game. So that's one way of using the tool to extend the learning experience a bit. But we, we didn't notice um, any built-in differentiation in that you, you kind of assign out all the same homework to all the students. Doesn't really adjust to student performance. So this is really a tool, I think, that solves a very particular need that is assessing student ability or giving them practice very quickly without a lot of work on your part to get started. But once you get past that, you may find yourself wanting a few more features, a little bit more customizability that the other platforms offer, but maybe don't have the great baked in quick content that you can, you can send out. And that's kind of why we ended up around a three on this tool, but it is definitely one like we've seen with quizzes where we could see them climbing up the ranks as they flesh things out based on the feedback of their users. But that's 99 math. And it is entirely free. I see. Yes. So it might, it also just might be a great way to sort of mix up that fluency practice that, you know, is, can be necessary for certain kinds of math facts and just, throw in something a little fresh that, that gets kids excited, which is always nice to have in your back pocket. Yeah. All right. Well, that is 99 math and uh, come back, see us at commonsense.org slash education for this, for other tools, for curriculum articles, top picks lists, best of category article, all kinds of resources that you may find helpful. And be sure to come back again next Tuesday, like, subscribe, share the video so that, um, you know, word gets out where vi really virality is completely the goal here. That's absolutely the goal. Well, we're failing. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's not the goal. It's not the goal. But, you know, share it, share it if you find it helpful. And thank you for tuning in. Um, and we will see you next time.